everyone, it's Razzy Alkane and I'm back with another, not toy review, well maybe it's a toy, not sure yet, but uh, basically uh, this is going to be a model kit review again. I know I just did my Grandizer uh, video and um, that was just something out of my childhood, I had a fun, but this time it's completely different, I don't know what I'm getting into, but I've been contacted by a company called Wooden City and they sent me an email uh, by a, uh, a nice uh, lady called Helen. I'm not gonna give her the full name and everything. And after some verification, uh, the whole thing was completely legit. And uh, they wanted me to, they wanted to send me one of their model kits and they wanted to uh, me to unbox and review it. So I said, why not? You know, that could be something very interesting, something very different than what I'm uh, used to, but it was interesting. So I decided to give it a go. So they sent me, um, the, uh, well, they told me go on our website, pick a model that you want. And their price range uh, in Canadian from there's, you know, $10 items up to 150 some, maybe more. Uh, they do uh, mechanical model kits, all in wood. They do maps, like actual full maps in wood uh, of anything um, from like, like world map. Uh, that you can put on a wall, uh, they have different sides. Uh, all the links will be in the description, of course. And they also do puzzles, like actual wooden puzzles, you know, many, many pieces. Uh, so they told me pick an item, so I, put, I picked a model kit uh, because it, it resembled more uh, a toy. And uh, well, here it is. I uh, grew up on a farm, so I said, I'm gonna pick up a tractor, why not? Uh, this was a $29.99 item, I believe. Um, I'm, I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. And um, it, it really appealed to me. Uh, so, uh, and I thought, you know, it says mechanical. I'll show you a little bit. Mechanical model. So I thought, okay, so this moved. Like if I push it, you're gonna see parts, gears and stuff move. But then I read in the back here, and it says, uh, the uh, model moves using a rubber band motor. So this this should, uh, from the description I'm getting, this might just move by itself. So I'm interested. So we're gonna take a look at this uh, right now. Uh, we're going to, uh, I'm going to uh, open the box, unbox it live, show you all the screws. Uh, all the parts and I won't assemble it on camera because it says um, 164 parts and the uh, assembly time is about 200 minutes so uh, three and a half hours and uh, I'm sure you guys don't have three and a half hours to watch uh, my uh, my video and uh, but yeah it's uh, I'm super happy though like honestly I'm really glad that a company emailed me you know a small-time youtuber and say we'd like you to do a review of our product so maybe they're trying to break it oh yeah they're from poland they're uh yeah they're that's that's what really surprised me uh people have watched my channel in poland so how cool is that um so yeah i want to do this honor so i'm going to give you my honest review uh i from the looks of it i'm going to be very very surprised and pleasantly surprised uh, with this product um, but uh, I will be completely honest. If there's stuff I don't like, you will know. But uh, yeah, so uh, this isn't, uh, I guess, I, I don't know if it's a sponsored video. I guess it is sponsored by Wooden City. Uh, you can find them uh, online. Uh, the links will be in the description and I might scroll it down here, uh, down here. Anyway, sorry, I'm having problems with my camera. Uh, yeah, so uh, let's take a look. But also don't forget, check my voice acting uh, spotlight uh, playlist. That's the main feature of my channel where I take a look at voice actors from the Transformers. Uh, of course, this won't transform, but I'm gonna build it. So similar. Anyway, let's take a look. All right, so this is the box. So um, this arrived, uh, I'm thinking directly from Poland. I didn't keep the, the, the shipping box, but it was uh, real quick, actually. I was expecting to see this in a month and it took, um, I don't know, maybe a week. 
Um, so yeah, so if you look at the box, it's really, really nicely packaged. Honestly, it tells you self-assembly, 200 minutes, 164 parts, no glue, uh, the scale, 120, 14 plus. It's an eco product, I guess, because it's all wood and uh, uh, made in Europe, I'm guessing, and waterproof. So I don't think my kid could play in the bat with that, but I guess if you, if you spill a bit of water on it, um, you know, it's, uh, it doesn't... Uh, you know, uh, uh, I have no idea what's the English word for uh, gondole. It's uh, anyway, the wood's gonna stay nice. Uh, real power, tiny size, and then you have a uh, a quick uh, display of uh, a mechanical part and how the sprues are are done. And wooden city, uh, the fine people that sent me this kit and uh, tractor, the model name, and then a bit of what it looks like when uh, you assemble it. And in the back, you have all the different language. This is a medium level uh, entry. I like uh, the scaling, how it's done. You have beginner, uh, easy, medium, hard, and very hard. Uh, made in Poland. That's, that, that's the coolest thing to me. It's it's a Poland Polish company contacting me. So yeah, Raziel Kane reviews a wooden model kit. This is awesome. So now I'm gonna, I don't wanna scratch anything. So I'm gonna take my Trusty tweezer, just to pierce a bit of the plastic. There you go. So standard cellophane membrane. This is the coolest thing. All right, I'll remove that. Now, without the shine and reflection, you have this piece of paper here. Nope. No instructions here. And then in the back, it actually shows you how to open the package. So you pry it open. So I'm going to remove this. Ah, you can see the instructions are between the sprues. So, okay, so if I follow the instruction, it says, Pull here. Wow, this is real tight. Okay, maybe there is one that's easier. Okay, so sorry I had to cut there. I had a little four year old who uh, wanted to ask me something important. Uh, so it's really tight. So I'm going to do it off camera because I might need to apply pressure. And that's the thing with these kits, eh? You don't want to apply unnecessary pressure because you don't want to break any parts. And this, yeah, okay, let me come back. So, how, all right, so I removed the first one, but look, the box broke. So be careful when you open it because you don't want any of these pegs, I'm guessing, to break or it seems at least none of the parts are directly attached to the frame. So the parts won't break. So that's always good. But I did apply pressure and one of the spruce thing, uh, one of the piece came out of the spruce. So uh, let's do this. It's really the edges, the corners are really tight. But it's, I like how it's done. I mean, it's self package. There you go. And I'm gonna set these aside. I don't think we're gonna use them for the building, but you never know. Sometimes you can be surprised. So we have one sprue and it says here, wooden city. You have this here and this here. And sorry, it's a little off camera, but I'm running out of room. And everything is identified. If you take a look at the sprues, you have the, oh, sorry again, had to cut because uh, the, uh, actually the, the, the panel fell off. Um, so let me line, ah, uh, it's good. Uh, I'm just gonna move it a little bit forward. There you go. So I'm gonna take a look at the sprues. Uh, if you take a look, uh, number one, 
9, 12, 13. So everything is identified directly on uh, the wooden box. I think that's really nicely done. It's a tractor here. And everything seems to be like precision cut to have, like if I, let's say I remove this part here, which is unnumbered, so I'm guessing it doesn't. See, it twists. There's a little piece of wood, just like plastic spruce. So precision uh, cutting here, and they leave just a little bit of wood to hold the thing together. I think that's fantastic. There's this little bag here, which has, all right, um, toothpicks, a bit of white material, I don't know what that is. The rubber bands for the motor, and I don't know what the other thing is, a little, I don't know, sticker maybe? We'll see, maybe it's a, uh... oh, it's it looks like sanding paper. Ah, so there is some sanding to be done. Okay, cool. And uh, this, whoa, let me uh, pull back the camera a little bit. Okay, you know, usually I do my whole joke of how I want to present the instructions, but this is massive. This is how many instructions there is. And look at that, this is, you know, very detailed. Um, I, th I think that's going to be easy to follow. Because uh, if you look here, the instruction, you know, they highlight the piece that you're going to need. They specify don't use any type of uh, cutting tool. I'm going to have to read those, make sure everything is good. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to this. All right. So lots of instructions and I'm going to take my time because it's my first time and I don't want to break anything. So, you know, you have all the different uh, parts. Uh, this is going to be interesting. And basically when you remove, you just push it out just like you would a uh, cardboard uh, game. Because uh, plastic stuff, you don't want to just push out. Uh, like I did my grandizer, but this, uh, and I'm being very careful because it there is some, it's kind of thin, so maybe there's, you know, that's why they give you sanding paper to take care of all those uh, little marks, but, you know, this looks mechanical, this is awesome, yep, I'm digging this, alright guys, and oh, they have a QR code, if in ca oh that's cool so if you're you missed or broken piece you can find some um, you know spare parts using QR codes and then they show you their best seller I almost went with the Jeep here but it was um, 99 bucks I said yeah it's gonna be my first time and I don't want to abuse the generosity of the company uh, but they have I don't know this here kinetic picture a ferris wheel a magic clock that really looked good too mystery box and of course a v-twin uh, cruiser biplane and uh, do not throw away the boxes and use plywood sheets after assembling make a stand for your model see good thing never throw anything away this this is i'm impressed honestly the the, the level of ingenuity and design on this thing is awesome so I'm going to get started, guys. I'm going to assemble this thing and I'll come back uh, and show you. Uh, maybe I'll film some parts where I find it uh, very interesting. And uh, but uh, I'm, yeah, I'm going to get started. OK, guys, I'm just going to give you um, since I can do this on camera, uh, the whole assembly, because it would take too long. Uh, I decided to give you a quick uh, rundown of where I'm at right now after about two hours, which probably 15, uh, half hour of this was trying to pry one part, a, a part similar to this one here, uh, because it's scary. It, it really is. Cause I mean, I, I, I use the uh, cutter to remove that tiny wedge that you might see here. Like you see the connection. Sometimes they are actually strong and 
I get afraid that I'm gonna break the the stuff so but this is one of the cool thing they actually give you this is a spare part sheet a uh, spruce it's I think it's very ingenious to provide this because you you know to you no fault of your own you actually might uh, break a thing or two so it's that's actually really useful this is a tool whoa sorry this is a tool that they give you with, for measurement because I found out the toothpicks basically what did they want you to do uh, you use it kind of a, like a nail or a screw so you measure like it's four millimeters between each line so basically you have to cut let's say for 12 millimeter you have to cut uh, this distance right here and they're used if you can see them in the wheel so empty 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 toothpick and it's kind of hard I don't have the proper tool to cut them super flush like they always kind of squeeze a little bit so but it, it's uh, to hold stuff so this is a tractor wheel I have two of those uh, that I've built uh, this pink thing here uh, which rotate and this moves up and down so I'm guessing this is gonna be well I'm not guessing this is gonna be part of the motor uh, this is where the rubber band is so that actually is how they show you to assemble it and it's really tight like these connectors here which are basically these uh, uh, things like this that you push uh, through holes in uh, these uh, tiny holes here and they all connect together but it's really tight but they do give you a bit of candle wax uh, they tell you to use it on uh, the actual cog wheels and stuff like that because I'm guessing for friction or so when the motor is gonna activate you want everything to run, uh, run smoothly so uh, that's that they show you like you know rub it on each teeth sorry I'm losing my words but yeah it's um it's really um it's very it's more complicated than I thought it was gonna be but also m sturdier like each piece looks actually quite solid but uh, it's uh, layered plywood right so on some pieces let's say on the when you remove it from the spruce sometime a layer might come off so it happened on a one or two piece uh, so you always have to make sure that you push let's say I think well let's say this this is the front of the sheet so always you always want to push from the back towards the front because you don't want to push on the other way around and have one of these parts here on top one of those layer to uh, peel off so you have to be careful with that but it's really nicely done and it comes off you know some pieces like that are very scary to remove but uh, circles and everything you just push and it pops just like it would a on a board game um, so uh, and everything you know is really uh, it's really tight fit like you you can't you have to be very careful not to misassemble because it's hard to put uh, to remove and disassemble uh, but it's uh, so far it's it's really interesting I'm I'm enjoying myself I am this piece was scary as hell because you actually have to bend it so the way that they cut it it creates a bit of elasticity so you push uh, onto those pegs here and you push and that's the seat and that's that's actually the ah uh, see I missed that's where it went this piece here goes here and it locks the thing in place so now you can this becomes um, a break or I, I don't know maybe uh, yeah it, it's probably a break but you can it, you know connects you have another one here but this one's too loose so I'm gonna have to I don't know put some kiki on it or just cut a new one um, one thing though uh, this piece here they tell you to include pennies in it uh, the thing is that the pennies they use I'm, I'm guessing that one cent uh, I, I don't know if it's a uh, euro penny or if it's uh, specific to Poland it our penny in North America are bigger even our dimes are bigger 
So I had to actually cut around a dime to trim, trim it down a little bit so that it would fit. Uh, it says three. It fits three dimes. I probably could have fit a fourth one. I'm guessing this is because you need some weight for uh, the rubber motor. Uh, I'll find out when, when I'm at that step. So right now I'm at half, uh, three quarters of the first page done. There's two pages and uh, it's going well, but it's very, uh, it's tricky. It's, uh, you have to be careful. You have to take your time. It says four hours, uh, three and a half hours. I'm thinking it's going to take me more than that because I'm not an expert. I haven't de done these before and this is a uh, medium level uh, thing. So maybe I should have started with a entry level uh, model but so far i'm quite pleased with this uh, this kit all right a quick handheld video because uh, i don't want to clean up my station to set it up again so this is what it looks like right now um so basically you can already tell if i flip it backward all right, it doesn't work hold on if you push it back you see all the gear in the in the in the inside and then when you let it go it rolls so i think i did the motor okay so that's pretty neat and then this part here this is freaking ingenious like it moves so i'm gonna be able to plug this thing here with uh, what's gonna become the uh the wheel the steering wheel it's going to turn left and right this i'm amazed so sorry for the bad quality of this segment it just sometimes takes a uh, uh, takes too much time to re-clean and reset up. So. Okay guys, I'm done with building the model kit, but before uh, I just want to show what's left. There's this bag of sprues and leftovers, but I've learned don't throw anything unless you're absolutely done. Now I'm absolutely done, so this will have be able to go to the recycling bin. Two toothpicks, and basically this thing here, that's uh, what they identify as the ruler, very practical and then I didn't use any leftovers and any uh, extra parts or replacement parts so I'm quite proud of that but the way you would use it is you would I'm not gonna do it now because I'm gonna keep this just in case and uh, I really like the, the the quality of the wood it's really good and I have one elastic left for the motor and I'm actually super happy that I've actually built the motor properly um, let me remove this and bring in the figure. So this is what you end up with. Basically, they tell you keep this, make a, a platform of it. The original cardboard cutout don't, they fit inside so you, they can't, they don't lay on top of it. But basically you put a, a hard surface on top of that box and then you put the tractor on top of it. So it's a good uh, display case. Um, I'm gonna ask my wife to actually do that. She's an artist through and through and uh, she'll be able to, uh, to, you know, put something together. So I don't know if I'm gonna display this in my collection or if I'm gonna put it in my son's bedroom because my son really likes it. So before I go over the figure, I'm gonna show you this clip that we shot me and my kid. Okay, so uh, I don't have a proper surface, I think, like carpet would have been better i believe for uh, that is like a short carpet like commercial carpet this would roll perfectly on it it doesn't really roll well on this surface because it's too slick so i'm gonna remove this part and then taking a look at the figure well not the figure i'm so used to reviewing transformer basically this is the side and when you move the wheels you can see all the stuff moving inside and then when you let it go so basically you have a handbrake here and then you pull it back and then when you remove it, it goes. Let's see, it's too smooth. So anyway, um, this part here, I was correct, it's part of the motor, it's a counterweight. Basically there's a toothpick part here com coming out and they kind of dangle between the gears. So it makes it move. Uh, the, uh, the wheel. Let's go over articulation. <laughs> the wheel, uh, they turn when you turn this. You have to be a little gentle for it. You can't really do it when you uh, make it roll because uh, it goes in a straight line, but it's, it's the engineering is pretty good. Like there's, you know, good suspension on those. It 
turn left and right. Uh, when you move the motor, uh, can we? Sh yeah. When I move the wheel, look at uh, here. See? Yes, I'm gonna remove the handbrake. Uh, put it. And this, I've seen tractors do that when I was a kid. So that's. It's honestly amazing the engineering and how basically you cut toothpicks and then you put it in those little holes here to hold this together and this together. Um, you you know there's one long one here to hold all of this. Every single piece fit fit in perfectly. And when I say perfectly, I mean it's super tight. Like there's piece like here you can see. Oh, sorry the camera can see here I've damaged a bit of the piece and I didn't have a replacement for it but it just when you're pushing on those tiny wooden pieces you're afraid you're gonna break it sometime they just peel a bit of layer because it's layered plywood as you can see here and there's sections I don't know if I can find one uh, easily but there is a couple of parts where see here I have damaged a bit of a corner uh, I, it's hard to remember where, but I mean, it, it happened a couple times where I peeled a corner or something like that. But the details, you know, this is three layers of uh, three wheel parts and it gives a really nice design. It's really smooth, you know, no splinters. There's the dashboard for the tractor. Uh, when you turn this, you have your speedometer and your gas and I guess the heat. It's really nice done. Like I said, you have the handbrake and uh, the seat is super smooth. Honestly, I'm very surprised. Oh yeah, there's that thing here. This is a, a water bucket or a milk bucket that you put together and then you just hang in the back. And when you roll, it uh, grinds on the gear here and it, uh, it, it, it goes up and down. So that's pretty cool. Um, I'm glad that uh, Wooden City picked uh, me to review this. It's really interesting. There's all those nice design inside the the tractor. Um, I, I'm I'm actually gobsmacked with the level of engineering and the thing that people just sit down in a room and say, "All right, today we're gonna design a wooden, a wooden tractor." And uh, we're gonna have to identify all the parts and how everything's gonna connect. I'm sure they use a computer, you know, to do that. And then it's precision cutting uh, for the wood. Cause I mean, some of these cuts are super tiny. Like this here, basically this is um, a piece of uh, a, a wood that's kind of just sawed right in the middle. So that it gives it just a little bit of flexibility so that when I pry, it connects uh, properly. Um, it doesn't always work like here. This is one part here where there's a gap compared to on the other side. I really couldn't push it further enough. Like I, I'm still afraid that I'm gonna break something. And it, uh, it, so I just said, you know what? It's a small gap. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna be too worried about it. But I, 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 I really, really do enjoy this. It's, uh, it's really interesting. So I don't know if they're trying to pierce the market in North America. I hope they do. Cause if you see this in store, I recommend you buying it or go online on their website, which will be, the link is in the description. I, I don't re recall right now if it's woodencity.com or um, another uh, web ex extension, but I do recommend, if you like model kits, it's worth it, it is. Now, usually I do some size comparison. So just to give you an idea, here is Wooden City Tractor with Earthrise Smokescreen and the only other model I have, Galdarak, which you've seen my video about it. In the end, I want to say thank you to Ellen. This is an experience that I uh, I would never have had if it wasn't for, uh, for you. I'm really thankful that uh, you picked me to review this. It's a great product. I do definitely recommend it. This is a fantastic mechanized model. Also, it's an awesome display piece. I mean, you put this on any surface and people are going to be drawn to it. They're going to want to look. And then when they realize that it actually moves, uh, they're going to be, you know, awestruck. Yeah, there you go, guys. Thank you for uh, for watching. I thoroughly enjoyed this experience. If you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Also, leave a comment. I would really like to know what you guys think about this. And remember, nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole. Take care.